nature lovers! I'm Jenny Tutum with the Natural History Institute, and today we're at Granite Basin Recreation Area at the Prescott National Forest in the beautiful Mogollon Highlands. And we're going to be talking about four common flower families. So it's important to learn families of flowers because families have a lot of similar characteristics. So when you're first learning botany, it's a great way to start. You start seeing those patterns and then you can further ID it to species. The first family we're gonna look at is the mallow family, Malvaceae. It has palmate leaves, so in the shape of a palm. Sometimes when you crush them up, they'll be a little slimy. So that's an indicator of the mallow family. Then if we look at the flower, it has five separate petals that kind of form a funnel shape. And then we have three to five sepals that are sometimes united. And then a numerous amount of stamens that form a column around the pistil. So the main thing we're looking for with the mallow family are those five separate petals and the numerous stamens around that pistil. family is the mustard family, Brassicaceae. Mustards have four sepals, four petals, and the petals are often in a cross shape or an H shape. And then they also have six stamens where four of them are tall and two of them are short. They also produce their fruit in a radial pattern up the stem and it'll fruit from bottom to top. So oftentimes if you see a flower with four petals and the fruit down at the bottom with some flowers still above, it'll be from the mustard family. So our next family is the legume family, Fabaceae. And we're not gonna talk about the whole family, we're actually gonna talk about a subfamily. So Fabaceae is separated into three subfamilies, Mimosa, Cisalpinia, and the pea subfamily. So we're going to talk about the pea subfamily. So first off it has five united sepals and then it has five petals in a very distinct pattern. It has a banner petal, two wing petals, and then a keel which are two petals that are fused together. Kind of that classic P shape, the banner, wings, and keel. They also have pea-like pods for their fruits, another distinct characteristic. Okay, so for the Fabaceae family, we're looking for five petals in that banner, wing, keel shape, and then pea-like pods for fruit. <laughs> Our last flower family is one of the largest flower families. That's the sunflower family, Asteraceae. So the special things about asters is that they are composite flowers. This one single flower is actually made up of multiple flowers. So on the inside, we have what is called disc flowers. So if you were to take a hand lens and look closely, you would see that inside one of these flowers, is multiple little flowers with flower parts. And then what appears to be petals on this are actually individual flowers called the ray flowers. So asters have disc flowers and ray flowers, but some of them only have ray flowers or only have disc flowers. And then the last thing to look for are the bracts on the back. Asters have multiple bracts kind of forming in a whorl and bracts are modified leaf parts. So for asters, we're looking for that composite flower and the bracts on the back.
So today we went over four families, Malvaceae, Brassicaceae, Fabaceae, and Asteraceae. So thank you so much for watching our video. Please like and subscribe and let us know in the comments what you want to see next. Thanks for joining us.